happening all over the place. Yeah, Maureen, it most certainly is. And unfortunately, what we're hearing from fire officials today is it might actually get worse with the holidays coming up. But people here in Rochester are not taking that with a grain of salt. They are saying we want this to stop and we want to see more being done because it's too much of a nuisance. It's very annoying. You can't sleep. Dogs are barking. Police is being called. Complaints about fireworks are still pouring in, and they can be more than a pain to hear. Injuries and fires can happen. And according to the Henrietta Assistant Fire Chief, things could get even worse. With there being no professional displays in the community this year, uh, I unfortunately predict that there's going to be a lot of injuries. Monroe County Legislator Rachel Barnhart took this video. She is working to push for change. I'm asking for a plan from our police department. I would like our fire department to be included, which it is. Um, the fire department did respond to several fireworks calls over the weekend. Neighbors say that it worked, that people uh, liked hearing from firefighters. Meanwhile, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office responded with this statement. If they know the specific address, that helps immensely. MCSO does investigate every complaint that is received and investigates to determine the best course of action with each complaint, whether it is an arrest or to educate on the dangers of fireworks. Meanwhile, some people want fireworks banned altogether. I don't like it. It's very troubling. I hope they get banned. It's not it's not safe for kids. I don't even think kids should be playing with fireworks anyways. Roman candles, no sparklers, no anything. And Maureen, we did also hear from the Rochester Police Department today. We reached out to them for a comment, and they did respond to us by saying, echoing the same sentiment that they have in the past, which is, if you hear those fireworks, please continue to call 911, and if you can, be as specific as possible about the location from where they're coming. For now, we are live in Rochester. Rebecca Fath, News 8. All right. Good advice. Thank you, Rebecca. Tomorrow.